Welcome to the channel, I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a trailing stop loss on the Binance Spot Exchange. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. To set up a trailing stop, come down to your order panel and come over to this little arrow here. You'll get a drop down menu, then click on trailing stop. In the first step to setting up a trailing stop loss, you have the option to choose an activation price. If you don't choose an activation price, that's perfectly fine, and Binance will activate your trailing stop loss immediately. For example, let's come up here to the chart, and let's imagine that we're looking at Bitcoin right now, thinking that it's getting ready to make a big move to the upside. Perhaps we think to ourselves, if Bitcoin manages to break through this little pivot point on the market right here, that it becomes most probable that Bitcoin's going to have a big move to the upside. And maybe we want to activate a trailing stop loss to follow behind price action. Mark out that pivot point with a horizontal. I'll do something like this. Now we can see on the Y axis of the chart that there's a price point correlating to that horizontal at 23,431. So let's come down to the order panel and let's type that in to activation price. 431. Next, we need to choose the trailing delta. This is going to be the distance that the stop loss will follow behind price action if it becomes activated. So we'll come down here to where it says trailing delta. We've got a couple quick options here on the side. We could go 1%, 2%, or you can put in a custom amount. For the purposes of demonstration, I'll just go 3%. This means if the stop loss becomes activated, it's going to follow behind price action by 3%. Next, we need to choose a limit price. And this is going to be the limit order that gets placed to sell our coins if the stop loss gets hit. So let's come back up here to the chart and let's just imagine that we're looking at this little wick right down here. Maybe we want to set our limit order somewhere down around that wick. So for simplicity, I'll grab a horizontal here from the drawing tools and I'll go ahead and mark it out something like this. Now we can see a price point on the Y axis of the chart at 22,241. So let's type that into limit price, 22,241. Now we're nearly ready to place this trailing stop loss. So let's head back up here to the chart. So in this particular situation, if Bitcoin begins to melt to the upside, the stop loss gets activated at 23,431 and begins to follow behind price by 3%. If at any point Bitcoin retraces by 3%, the stop loss gets hit and a limit order to sell our coins gets placed at 22,241 or better from the order book. And this is important. Because if Bitcoin starts to rip and gets way up around 26,000 before pulling back by 3%, there's going to be a better price point available on the order book. And our coins will sell for that better price point, not for 22,241. So in other words, when the stop loss gets hit, the coins are sold immediately at the best available price from the order book. However, if price action was to come up, and activate the stop loss and roll over, we're still protecting ourselves from the downside because the moment it retraces by 3%, the limit order to sell our coins for 22,241 will be placed or better off of the order book. So in other words, if price action came up, failed to break out and shot to the downside, we'd have our stop loss set at this level right here. The key is to make sure that your limit order is greater than your trailing delta. So my situation here, I want to make sure that my limit order of 22,241 exceeds 3% if the stop loss gets activated. So if I quickly grab my price range tool from the drawing tools over here and bring it over to the chart, I can measure down from that top horizontal and I can see that 3% is well above my limit order. If your trailing delta exceeds your limit price, what will happen is the limit order will be placed onto the order book, but the coins won't sell. So in this situation here, if I set my trailing delta to say 6%, and let's go ahead and grab this price range tool. And if I drag this down to 6%, like somewhere in that area right there, you can see that the stop loss gets activated below the limit price. So this limit order will be placed on the order book as a sell. And I'll still be holding onto the coins waiting for price action to bounce and come back up to that level which may not be very helpful if price action was to reverse and just move to much lower price levels. So it's always important to make sure that your limit price is greater than your trailing delta. So in my situation here, the 3% would work. Not 36, three. <laughs> 
Another consideration with this particular stop loss idea is if price action was just to roll over from here. That would mean that our stop loss didn't become activated and we'd still be holding onto the coins as price just waterfalls to the downside. So in some situations, it might be a good idea to not use an activation price. Remember, if you don't select an activation price, Binance will activate your trailing stop immediately at the market price. So if we were satisfied with the conditions of this trailing stop loss, we'd come back down to the order panel, we'd choose the amount of the asset we wish to sell if the stop loss gets hit, and then click on sell. Then Binance will give us an order confirmation pop-up window where we can confirm our activation price of 23,431. If that price point gets hit, it'll activate the stop loss to trail behind price by 3% with a limit price to sell at 22,241 or better off of the order book. If we were happy with that, we'd click on confirm. Now we can see the details of that order down here at the bottom under open orders. And right over here, we can see that our trigger condition has not been met because price action hasn't reached the trigger level of 23,431. The moment it does, it activates the stop loss. If at any point we want to cancel this order, we just click this little trash icon. If we want this trailing stop loss to activate immediately, we just wouldn't put anything in the activation price box. We'd set up all the parameters, come down, we'll click on sell. Now we're getting our order confirmation window. That's showing us that the activation price will be the current market price. So this will activate immediately with a trailing delta of 3%. If that 3% gets hit on a pullback, our limit order to sell the coins for 22,241 will be executed or better off of the order book. If we're happy with that, we'd click on confirm. Now, when we come down to our open orders, we can see over here under trigger condition that this stop loss is already activated. If at any point we want to cancel this, we just come over here to this little trash icon, give it a click. And as you can see, we've canceled the trailing stop. So a couple quick tips with this. Typically, a trailing stop loss will serve you best in a blue sky breakout. So if an asset is breaking out to new all time highs and going through price discovery. This way, if there's ever a sudden reversal, you'll be stopped out of the position and be protecting your gains. You'll be locking in some profits. So it's always a good idea to look left on the chart and get to know what a normal price movement is for that asset. You don't want to set your trailing delta too close to price action. Otherwise, you run the risk of getting stopped out on a normal price movement. So always a good idea to study the asset and get a general idea as to how that asset likes to move when it's in a range. At the end of the day, you'll have to choose your own parameters, do your own technical analysis, and decide what's appropriate for your particular trailing stop loss idea. But that's how you get it done. And there you have it. That's how you set up a trailing stop loss on the Binance Spot Exchange. If you found that helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also check out my other Binance tutorials, which I've put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel for you. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day. Oh,